What's going on guys? So we have our new Mini 2, which as you guys probably know by now are pretty freaking awesome. The OcuSync 2.0 is rock star compared to the Wi-Fi BS. And say we want to take advantage of the new RAW file format and we're trying to shoot a sunrise or a sunset where we have a lot of different range with the lighting. So for example, today I was in the city and if you see here, we have the sun coming up, but you can't see it because it's obviously way overexposed. But if you see something more like this, we can get an idea that the sky is intact, at least good enough because we can't totally expose for the big ball of light, the sun. But what I would do is take a shot, maybe use the auto bracket feature and take a shot for the building area, the subject down here, and then get one for the sky. So what I'm gonna do is show you the workflow and it's not that difficult, but it takes a little finessing and some little secret handshakes that maybe you're not aware of that will help you out in getting this thing done pretty efficiently. So I'm gonna select both of these guys and mind you, I'm taking the DNG files, not the JPEG, because I can pull more out of the exposure with the raw files. So what I'm gonna do is double click these. It's gonna populate in the Photoshop 2021. And you see I have two exposures, one brighter, one a little darker. So the darker one I'm gonna use for the sky. Sometimes can actually go and use one image like this if it's kind of mid range for both the sky and the subject area, you know, kind of get both out of one raw file. But I'm just gonna focus right now on the sky. So I'm gonna, nope, that kind of looks bad. But maybe something just like that. Not too much. I'm bringing the vibrance way up. I like it kind of oversaturated just for the sake of the video. And let's see. I'm going to magnify this 200, 300% and see how the sky's looking. Maybe even 400%. And when you're doing any kind of denoising or reducing noise, if you go into the detail tab in Photoshop or in the Camera Raw plugin, we have this detail. We have sharpening, which you don't want to do. We have noise reduction and color noise reduction. I'm gonna go ahead and reduce noise reduction and a little bit of color noise reduction. And as you see, it basically took a lot of the noise and a little bit of the color noise out of the sky. So the sky, you don't have to worry about being smoother looking. It actually looks nice when it's kind of creamy and smooth looking because noise is detail, which is sharpening. So you want your buildings, for example, to be sharp. So the sky, not so, I mean, that looks pretty cool right there, right? But we're gonna take this and kind of tweak just a little bit for the building. I'm gonna maybe bring saturation up a teeny bit, maybe add a little, little texture to add a little sharpening to the building. And well, maybe a teeny bit of exposure. Then I'm gonna grab these and I'm gonna open these up. I have them opening as smart objects, which I'm not gonna get into, but the smart object thing is very cool and it's a really powerful tool if you know how to utilize it. So what I'm gonna do now is I got this. Let me close this window. Let me close some of this stuff. Um, let me, what do I need? I don't need this. I'm gonna close out of a few of these images and if I hit the X on the tab area and I hit D, that will don't save, so that's a keyboard shortcut. C is cancel and S is save. So I'm gonna hit the D key, don't save, and I'm gonna get out of there. So keyboard shortcuts are really, really helpful to know, especially in Photoshop, because it really speeds up your workflow and efficiency. So what I'm gonna essentially do is bring this picture into here, so I have two layers. So this is gonna be on top of this. So what I'm gonna do is hit the V key, that's the keyboard shortcut for the move tool. I'm gonna hold down the shift key, which will match the image, essentially place it in the exact same area as the other image. I'm gonna bring this up, drag it up, so I'm depressing on the mouse or the Wacom stylus, hold this tab and then the new tab and bring it back down and then release and release the shift key. So now I have this layer, the sky, over the building. And I'm gonna see to make sure by lowering the opacity of the top layer that everything matches up the nice and it does. So perfect, we're good to go. And now what I can do is use a layer mask. So I'm gonna basically punch a hole in this bottom layer to access it with the layer mask. So I'm gonna reveal with black. 
boom. So see what I'm doing? So now if I want to, I can just paint in that area and look what we have going on. So I'm going to bring back the sky. Let me see what I can do. Maybe, and this is where you kind of get artistic-y, and this is where the stylus comes into play. But you can see, I'm just kind of revealing the building, so there's some detail here. I'm going to make my brush smaller. But I wanted to give you guys just a little glimpse of what you do. So essentially, you bracket for your sky, and you know, your foreground and background essentially. And then you color correct each one or work the raw file. You bring them into Photoshop. You bring them into the same file so you have two different layers. And then you kind of finesse it with a layer mask essentially. So now we have this guy looking pretty darn good. And what I can do here is make a new layer and maybe do something with some cool like topaz labs has some cool filters or on one i could maybe run a little filter and see what happens let's just play so this is on one photo raw pretty cool powerful little filter sometimes i just use a little blip of it sometimes i don't use any but it's fun to see where it would maybe take it so this is pre four or this is no that's after so this is after like that looks pretty badass just like that right so I'm going to hit done, and I'm going to see what it did. Sometimes it will mess up the sky a little bit. But it looks pretty good, actually. And I like how it kind of vignetted a little bit with the darkening. And voila. Let me see. Hold on a second. I'm going to do a before and after with that filter. Before? Yeah, it looks... I mean, after, before, after. Yeah, it looks pretty pimp. So there you go. That's a pretty cool little improvement from that to that. <laughs> I mean, that's basically someone who doesn't know what they're doing if they were going to just post that or someone maybe, nope, not the video, or someone just posting this. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but it's not going to be as professional looking as that. And then you can just add a watermark. You don't, the buildings are actually straight. So the building is nice and straight and things look pretty good, right? I mean, you can keep on going further, but why bother? I mean, this is the detail of the Mini 2. Looks pretty rock star. I mean, you can easily print it. I denoise the sky enough to where it looks nice and good to go. But I'm hoping that helps. I just wanted to do a little quick tutorial on working the raw files for something like a sunrise and a sunset because a lot of people don't know. So again, just so you're aware, we're going to rehash that. We basically take these files, we bring them in, not the JPEGs, the raw, we bring them in the Photoshop and the camera raw, we work them the way we want to, we open them up into Photoshop, and then we layer the two, the sky and the subject foreground area, whatever it is, like something like this, we'd bring this one and the sky. And then we would drag them onto the same file. So we have two layers like we did over here. So right here we have the building and the sky. And then we do our little composite and blending with the mask. And it's super simple. I mean, it takes a second to get used to it in the workflow. But once you start, it really is pretty easy just like it is with this one. So, I mean, if I was not doing a little recording and in the moment, it would probably take me five minutes to do it relatively well and thought out and make sure everything was looking good. But I hope this helps, guys. Get out there, shoot, be safe, and enjoy your mini twos. Aloha, and hit the thumbs up if you find this video helpful, and subscribe. Peace. Bye.